This game is T and is not suitable for kids. I'm together with Furukawa when we go home, too. As we walk side by side, I notice a handful of guys looking my way from a corner of the hall. I look behind me. Nothing there. Ask him what's wrong. No idea. I recognize some of the students, so I go over to them and ask, What's wrong? What was? Okay, what is up with this ghost? I've heard it mentioned a couple of times, but I don't know what the heck they're on about. I've heard the rumors, but does it really appear? <laughs> Do they think Fuko is a ghost? <laughs> She's just a weird girl who's giving out free carvings. Say, uh. does this ghost have a bandage wrapped around its hand? Okay, are these people this stupid? I, th I think they're actually this stupid. For some reason, they think Fuko is a ghost. She's just clumsy! Hey, Furukawa, come over here! I yank Furukawa's sleeve and run off. Wanna meet a ghost? Nope, not at all. <laughs> Alright, I'll take you to it. There she is. As always, she's working on her carving. Holding her breath, Furukawa keeps on watching in silence. Fuko Ibuki. I call out her name. Hi, Lucia! Her hands stop. Hi. Her face slowly turns to face me. Oh, I have a name. The name is Okazaki. Standing next to me, Nagisa seems to want to say something, but I signal for her to let me talk instead. Do you have any idea how much of a commotion you've caused? I heard you were in an accident. Is that true? And you had to stay in the hospital for a long time, right? It must have been really dreadful. I... <laughs> I'm sorry, dreadful. I can only sympathize with you. But you see, I can't understand why you would never tell anyone about your recovery and just keep on roaming around the school like this. People are calling you a ghost, you know. Yeah, that's right. Don't you have friends? Why didn't you tell them? She probably doesn't have friends. They may have been the ones who spread that rumor. For a while, Fuko just sits there in silence. She's finally opening her mouth. Oh, never mind. What? Are you seriously asking me that? What the heck is happening? This this whole game is going bonkers. Everything's suddenly covered in silence. Even the loud noises coming from the corridor seem to disappear. Listen, Fuko. Hi. Stop with the bad joke. You're here because you were discharged from the hospital. Isn't that obvious? Okazaki-san. Furukawa pulls my sleeve lightly. You can stay calm like that only because you don't know what is happening. Stop lying. I am very confused right now. So you do remember her older sister as the art teacher. 
I wonder if that's why she stopped being an art teacher. Yeah, right. Ibuki Fuko san. Ibuki sensei no imoto san desu yo ne. Hai. Kite kudasai, Okazaki san. Onechan no koto shitteru hito ga She's literally the only person who could have known because she got held back a year. Yeah, I heard. So someone actually knows. I totally forgot that Furukawa had to repeat a year. Furukawa. Hi. Do you want to go there to confirm? Do we even know where she lives? Also, this is ridiculous. She's clearly here, right in front of us. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Or, is, or, or are we saying like she snuck out of the hospital and she wasn't actually discharged? And like people were looking for her. But then the school would know. <laughs> and unless she just hangs out here all day. Hearing that, Fuko takes a few steps back. Don't you want to go? Hi. I think it'd be better if you go with us. Much easier to explain things that way. <laughs> Forcibly take her along or just leave her here. Apparently this doesn't matter. Apparently this decision right here does not matter, which seems very, very strange. I'm not going to force her. If she really doesn't want to go, then I won't let her go. I won't make her. Furukawa's pulling my hand. Maybe she's trying to tell me not to force Fuko to come with us. Yeah, fine. I get it. But Fuko, if I find out you've run away from home, I'm making you go back. Got it? After making sure Fuko's agreed to that, Nagisa and I head out. Okay, so we're just worried that she's run away from home, basically. Or, like, left the hospital without being discharged. For some reason, Nagisa's taking me to her house. Hey, Sanai. Sanai-san is looking after the store. Sup. Furukawa looks like she's about to confess a secret as she strikes up a conversation. Seems this this is very strange. <laughs> I'm sure they don't. So that's why we're here to find some presents to take with us. After thanking her mom, Nagisa reaches out to grab a tray. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll take everything! <laughs> I do as she instructs, and I fill the tray with bread. <laughs> We're gonna take Sanai's bread. Even Sanai-san is helping us. <laughs> can you really have too much bread? Actually, actually you can. If, if you're living alone, yeah, you can have too much bread if you can't eat it in time before it goes bad. The pile of bread is high enough to block Furukawa's vision. We seem to have gathered up about a third of the store's bread. Such a peaceful store. How are they making money? We are walking on the way to Ubuki Sensei's house, carrying four bags full of bread. Oh! She's like a recurring customer. Oh, that's cool! Even so, I don't think she can eat all the bread we've brought along. For a while, we just focus on our footsteps. I don't know if there's garlic bread in there, man. That is good stuff. Furukawa hesitantly breaks the silence. Aww. Wow. Is she like the cool teacher? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, so she sounds like one of those teachers that, like, really cares for her students and goes, like, way far above and beyond the call of duty. Oh, man. She sounds awesome. Oh, then should we stop now? Yeah. Oh, 
来てくれる時は会っちゃってますのでもうそんなの関係ないですよねええ I sort of understand how Furukawa feels. She must think she's a burden because she had to repeat a year. Ibuki must really care about her students. So, this is the sense of 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 the of the sense of the sense of the sense of the of the That, that was kind of sprung on us. Like, a whole, a whole bunch of stuff is just being sprung on us all at once. And it's very, very strange. I can see through her apparent cheerfulness. If you say so. I can't help feeling sorry for her getting involved in this situation. That little sister, though. She's one terrific example of the lack of common sense. Actually, that's just a lot of our society today. I try to change the topic to Fuko. I didn't have a 今日初めてお会いしましたでももし本当にまだ退院してなくて OK Does hospitalized for me Maybe I have the definition wrong For me hospitalized means you are in the hospital like But maybe it just means like you're supposed to be in the hospital Cause like from what I'm gathering she was in the hospital but I'm pretty sure she, like, she must have like escaped from it or something Either that or she was discharged But they're talking like she's still there, but she's not. She's clearly in the school. She's at school. That, like, you can't deny that. <laughs> How should I know? This is really weird. I remember what she told me about what she's trying to do. That's right. She is trying to congratulate her sister on her marriage. She wants to make the whole school come and bless the wedding. Just how reckless is that? Yeah, she told me so herself. Why are you crying? Furukawa's eyes suddenly redden. Come on, don't you start crying on me now. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna give up on trying to understand any of this, and I'm just gonna go with the flow, see where this goes. That's, that's, that's not how the Force works! <laughs> Calm down, you're getting way ahead of yourself here. We don't know for sure yet if that's her ghost or something. It can't be her ghost! She played baseball with us! <laughs> Please, I can't stand your crying. It's true. This is my least favorite sprite. Furukawa somehow manages to calm herself down. In the garden further ahead, a woman is watering the plants with a pot in her hand. Recognizing the woman, Furukawa raises her voice a little. Are we actually going to get a sprite for Fuko's sister? Ah, I see. That's why. Just one look at her and I already understand why she can be so close to Furukawa. She seems to have this very soft touch to just about everything. Not to mention her staggering appearance. Sensei. Furukawa quickens her step towards Ibuki. Eh? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! This explains so much. That's why random teacher in the flashback had a sprite. That was Fuko's sister. Oh my gosh. No wonder people were so adamant like, Artie, that's a girl. And I'm like, that looks like a dude. I'm pretty sure that's a dude. <laughs> wow. Never would have expected that. Still seems weird that Saki and Yuki didn't get sprites. <laughs> also, you're literally wearing the exact same outfit you did in the past, and you haven't aged a day despite that being like 10 years ago. Well, she doesn't look anything like Fuko, so that's why I didn't make the connection. She welcomes Furukawa with a full smile. Okay, that's actually really cool how they tied that in with the Misai route. 
She definitely- okay, she definitely has a girl's voice. I don't know how I missed that in the Misairu, where I'm just like, Nah, she's got short hair. She's a dude. <laughs> nah, she's wearing a polo shirt. Must be a dude. Please, <laughs> だから、まだ家には上がれません。先生に気を使わせてしまうだけですから。そんなこと気にしなくていいんですよ。わお。先生はそう言ってくれること分かってました。でも、次先生とゆっくりお話しするときは。This is definitely okay. This is fine. The brute is finally like piquing my interest. It doesn't matter. If she's not a teacher, do you mean a student doesn't really have anything to do with it? Furukawa tries her best to convey her feelings. <laughs> she's doing the fist bump! Wow! <laughs> I wonder if that's where Furukawa, like, got the hit from. <laughs> I like the double fist bump, it's cool. <laughs> the two tightly hold each other's hands. Everything about them is almost too heartwarming for me. Furukawa respects this person from the depths of her heart. If she was still teaching at school, maybe Furukawa wouldn't need me at all. This teacher would be everything she needed to have the best days of her school life. The thought somewhat saddens me. The new art teacher sucks. <laughs> He's postmodernist. He, he just paints a square on another square and calls it art. <laughs> She's looking at me. <laughs> Man, everyone's just like low key totally shipping us together. A straight on attack covered with a smile. A straight on denial. What? <laughs> Nope, no one at the moment. <laughs> Who did you think? <laughs> Aw, thanks. <laughs> What's with the tilde? Her words keep slamming my embarrassment button. Only Furukawa doesn't seem to know the answer. Buki's whispering something to Furukawa, who is now standing next to her. Furukawa looks down, reddening slightly. Buki's whispering something again as she laughs. Did, did, did Nagisa think that... It, who... whatever girl... Okay, we've talked to like Nagisa a ton this room. We've talked to Fuko several times. Who else? Tomoyo? <laughs> the one meeting we had with Tomoyo. Was like, I thought Tomoyo was your girlfriend. She was! Different timeline. <laughs> She's hugging the bag of bread in her arms so tightly that it's in danger of being flattened. Furukawa, I think you should hand her the bags first. We, got, we brought you all the garlic bread you can eat. I hope her fiance likes some garlic bread. <laughs> I think your dad needs to start cutting back on the amount of bread he makes. If he's constantly having, like, copious amounts of leftovers, that's a sign you're making too much. She lines up the four bags we handed her inside the entrance door. Then she turns back to me. I'm Tomoya Okazaki. Nice to meet you. Koko Ibuki. Okay, that's an easy name to remember. It might be because I know she used to be a teacher, but even a simple introduction somehow makes me nervous. <laughs> Stop shipping us with Nagisa. Wait until the final route. That doesn't sound like something a teacher would ask at all. 
<laughs> Furukawa hastily gets in between us. <laughs> okay, she went from like low key shipping us to like hardcore shipping us. <laughs> she looks at me, feigning a smile. It's cute. Well, duh. That doesn't mean I want to be her boyfriend, though. She still hasn't given up. <laughs> hey, careful! <laughs> Don't turn into Natsuki. <laughs> oh my, oh wow, she's like super hardcore shipping us together. What chance? Ibuki gives us a surprised look. What? Did Fuko lie to us? <laughs> Furukawa is signaling SOS to me. If I remember correctly, your fiance name's name. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> How? Okay, okay. What? Hey, not what? <laughs> I, what? Wait a second. I. Huh? Okay, my mind just got blown in like five different ways. First of all, Yoshino Yusuke is her fiance? I do not remember this. When did we learn about that? How does he know that? Why has this not been brought up before? Also, apparently she's not engaged. What? I don't know, I don't know what's going on right now. What? When did they mention what her fiancé's name was? That never came up before. And if that's the case, why didn't Fuko or Yoshino interact with each other in the baseball game? They never even talked to each other. This is bull. <laughs> what? Um, that is... Uh, I actually don't know. I don't remember him ever learning this information. Even Furukawa should have realized by now. This is something we must not tell her. Have you really not told anybody about it? What is happening? This is this whole route is just a mind screw. もちろん。それは相手の方は知っていますでもまだお互いの家族にも話していないんです。そもそもまだこの話は決めかねていることですから。I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, so she did get into an act. That much is true. No, she's not! <laughs> she's in school! <laughs> she played baseball! <laughs> she physically caught the ball and hit the ball! <laughs> This is this is dumb. <laughs> it's got a, the only logical explanation is that they only think she's still sleeping in the hospital. I'm like, she got she got someone else to pretend to be her, which is really stupid. <laughs> Either that, or they're just throwing even even more fantasy elements. Like, Fuko is physically in school. This is indisputable. People have talked to her. Sunohara has p physically picked her up over his shoulder. She's actually carving stuff, handing them out to people. She's clearly there. And real. <laughs> so something's going on at the hospital. Either that or that's a fake Fuko in the school. But that also doesn't make much sense at all. 
あの子は今もかわいそうなままなんです。Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's your sister, lady. だから迷ってるんです。You're confused! <笑>あ,あの。はい。い,いえ。なぎさちゃん、どうしましたかい,いえ、何も。あの。Huh? <laughs> but, but why? <laughs> okay, fine. Ibuki sensei, Mata Kimaskara. Ara, you this car? Hi, Kondo, you could you hanas a sete could I say? Eh, Omatiste Muscara, the tiny kite could I say, eh? Hi, so they were stressimus. It's as if we're running away from that place. What is happening? There's, there's some weird voodoo juju going on here. <laughs> What happened to you? Why are you in such a hurry? I can't understand if you don't tell me. Huh? Don't do that. Imagine how she would look at us if you told her. How are they not just. I don't, I don't understand. I do, I truly, I don't understand. This story makes no sense. Okay, that's gotta be why she stopped being a teacher. If you say so. It's kind of obvious when you think about it. Anyway, just calm down, Furukawa. Hi. She puts her hands on her chest and takes in a deep breath. To be frank, I don't understand exactly what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody does. I don't think even the writers knew. But I do know that her existence is not something natural. What? You can't. You just threw this. In the span of half an hour, they just threw all of this weird fantasy stuff at us with no explanation and no reasoning behind it at all. Just think about it. Ibuki sensei said she'd gone to visit Fuko this morning, didn't she? So she must have seen Fuko in the morning, right? And at the same time, we were talking to Fuko at school. Not to mention their engagement. Only Fuko knew about that. And she's supposed to be in a coma. Ibuki must have been talking to Fuko. Is this just like. Are we on a prank show? I think that that's going to be the ending to this route. It's revealed this is. We're on a prank show. This is weird. Oh. <sighs> She can't be a ghost. <laughs> no idea. But her body seems so real. It is real! It's physical! <laughs> I look down at my hands. I wonder if something really, really mysterious is happening. Prank show. Or time travel. It's one of those two. Now? Furukawa takes my hand and pulls me forward. Alright. Just how much is she willing to do for the sake of others? Yes. Looking for the glass panel on the door, we find Fuko sitting on a chair, still working on her carving. With a hand still holding the sliding door, Furukawa keeps gazing at Fuko. Yeah. She keeps going around giving out handmade presents to people in exchange for a favor. Please come to my sister's wedding. That's all she asks for. Don't cry. Help with that? いえ。イブキ先生の結婚式まであの子のやろうとしていること全部です。それでもしよければ岡崎さんも一緒に手伝ってくれると私は嬉しいです。But why? Furukawa sinks deep into thought, though it doesn't take her long this time. She puts her face close to mine quickly. 
She's pressing her words strongly. As she does, I pick up on a pleasant scent. I will. <laughs> We're gonna help. Duh. Yeah. I've got way too much time on my hands anyway. Maybe this will help stave off some boredom. Uh, this is... this is... I have... I have no words. でも、あの子は頑張ろうとしてるんですから、ちゃんと手伝ったり、応援したりしながらです。頑張りながら楽しいのが一番です。それが三人だったらできると思います。I sure hope so. はい。風子さん。you know what? It just occurred to me that my sister Marty's like, oh, I know Artie and he will hate the Fuka route. If it's probably, if it's, if it's introducing all this crazy random stuff like this with absolutely no explanation, yeah, I'm not going to like that. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Furukawa calls out to Fuko. Hi. She's still here? It's sunset. Uh, to, uh, hey, she's not calling me weird guy anymore. Uh, uh, Yep. Even above your typical upperclassman, she repeated a year, you know. <laughs> wow, way to just say that. But figuring in your two years of sleep, shouldn't you two be the same age? Right, then Nagisa is indeed the older one. Uh, yeah, just I'm just gonna go with the flow, see where this goes. Maybe, maybe all my questions will be answered. Probably not, but maybe. Huh? You just think too much. Right, Fuko? Fuko is Oh, maybe this whole thing is just a, like, going off of my prank show idea. Maybe it's not like a prank show, but maybe it's like Fuko and her sister are kind of annoyed that Tomoya is playing all these pranks on Fuko, so they're getting back with, like, the mother of all pranks. And, like, the whole student body is in on it, and that's why they're like, yeah, have you heard about the ghost? That would actually be... <laughs> I hope that's the ending. That would be actually pretty funny. えっと、ふーちゃんです。では私はふーちゃんとお呼びしていいですかはい。えっと、ふーちゃん。明日からお手伝いしてもいいですかはい。私、岡崎さんから話聞きました。ふーちゃんが伊吹先生のために頑張ろうとしてること。私も伊吹先生のために頑張らせてください。いいですか結婚一緒にお祝いしてくれるんです
Anna? What's wrong? She clumsily bows down before us. You do not bow to me. You bow to God and God alone. You're such a good girl. It's making my twisted spirit nervous. As I say that, I put my hand on Fuko's head. She quickly brushes my hand off. Darn. I give it another try. Knowing she won't give up, this time I read her hand's movement and dodge it, and put mine back on her head again. Whoosh. Wish. Whoosh. Wish. Whoosh. Wish. No matter how many times she tries, my hand keeps fiddling and finding its way back to her head. <laughs> You're weird. Bam! Fuka hurls her body to push me aside, then runs toward the corner of the classroom. What are you? <sighs> yeah, see? She's clearly... Clearly, like, a physical being. She's not a ghost. Furukawa, look closely. What you're seeing is her true nature. Take the last two words off that sentence. You shouldn't bully. <laughs> Furukawa has already abandoned me to side with Fuko. Furukawa opens her arms wide and waits. Fuko cautiously approaches her. When Fuko has come close enough, Furukawa stretches forward and embraces the much tinier girl. Okay, that's cute. How are you going into a trance just by being hugged? She probably doesn't get enough hugs. Once she goes into this mode, it will take some time for her to recover. See for yourself. Even I can't tell how long it's going to take this time. Well, got to do something to warn her. <laughs> We're, gonna... We're not going to just leave it. We're going to make her drink juice for her nose. Just wait here for a minute. Be in awe of my determination going all the way to buy the drinks like this. Upon returning, I immediately proceed to insert the straw into Fuko's nose. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if she's going to stop us. I ignore Furukawa's question to focus on making sure the straw goes in as deep as possible. Ew. Okay, I'm going to do it. Ha! I ready myself and clench the hand, gripping the back of the pack of the juice. Fuko pushes Furukawa to the side and starts blowing her nose. <laughs> they even made her voice actress like sound like she's got stuff in her nose or her throat. I did it! I made her drink it! You've mastered the make Fuko drink juice for her nose skill. <laughs> we are the worst. I'm just messing around. She and I are just this close. You just got to know her a few minutes ago. But I've been with her for quite some time. Really, Nagisa? You can't find any reason to object why someone might try... Might pour juice down someone's nose. That... Wow. Yep, that's how it is. She must have returned to her sense after being told that by Furukawa. I wonder what she's going to do from now on. Why not? Y um, what? A, that's not allowed. B, why? You can't sleep in the school. Yes. <laughs> Has she been sleeping at school? Even though I'm concerned, I decide to hold my tongue. Because I don't have to say it out loud. There is no way Furukawa would let Fuko stay like that. Oh, of course. For Nagisa's like, I, my house is your house.
That's true. Her parents, like... Her, her dad is really weird and kind of grumpy, but, like... He's very hospitable. Her parents are abnormally friendly people. You won't have to worry about anything staying there. Yes. <laughs> 